Welcome to GAPS Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be doing practice problem 12.6. We asked to refer back to 12.2. I'll just leave the link to that in the description. I actually saw that. And from the problem stated in 12.2, we are asked to find the complex power at the load and at the source. So in the question, we're actually given the phase voltage. Uh, and this is the value of the phase voltage, which is given to us in the question. And in one of the problems, we actually calculated the phase current, and it was something like this. Right? Now that we have the phase voltage and phase current, we are asked to find the complex power at the source and at the load. So the formula for the complex power at the source is as follows, and you basically just substitute the values which you have for phase voltage and your the conjugate of the phase current, which is that. And you find the conjugate by just changing that sign over there. So you're just going to have 375 with an angle of positive 8.66. 8 now it's going to be positive 8.66 when you substitute it as this is the conjugate of that. Now, putting this into your calculator should give you a value of negative 1054.17 subtract j843.34 that is in VA. Now factoring out the negative sign as they did in the textbook will give you this. So factor out the negative sign and you basically just have this. And that is your answer for the complex power at the source. Moving on to the load, you find the magnitude of your phase current and you square that multiplied by three multiplied by the value of your impedance right so the impedance this is the phase impedance you actually exclude all the line impedances as well as the impedance of the source so you just take the impedance of the phase or the phase impedance and it was given to us as 24 plus J19 ohms, right? So to find the complex power at the load, it's gonna be three, and then the magnitude of this, of the phase current, it's 3.75. You're just gonna say 3.75. You're gonna square it and multiply it by your phase impedance, which is 24 plus J19. And the answer which you should get after putting this into your calculator should be 1012.5 plus J801 from 56 VA. If you like this video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. As I said, I'll put the link to 12.2 in the description if you haven't seen it.